This review may contain spoilers for previous works. Discretion is advised. After the horrible events on Aberak, both Haplo the Patron and Alfred the Sartan are going to need some time to recover. In his haste to hide secrets from his lord, Haplo will discover a new meaning to the word pain wrapped in the guise of fatherly love. It seems that Haplo's journey just keeps getting worse and worse as he explores more worlds. As for Alfred, well, he doesn't really have any choice in the matter. Haplo thinks he jumps ship, but in truth Alfred gets pushed through the gate into the world of Chelestra. It's pretty much the opposite of Aberak. Water is plentiful and breathable, even. What's more, the mensch of this world ended their war fighting and united for a common purpose. Existence. Each race inhabits their own continent, surrounded in a bubble, surrounded by ocean water. And the entire system orbits around the sea sun. Like many books that involve a conflict, yet again, there's a problem. A big one. The sea sun is moving away from the inhabited lands. If the Mensch don't depart their homes and search for new land, then they're all going to die of freezing cold, and that is fast approaching. It has to be true. The Dolphins said so. Also, an ancient evil is awakening, one that has no spirit or soul. How can somebody control something like that and bring it under heel? No one in Chelestra is a match for this enemy, and they're going to find out really quick what it's like to deal with them. The ancient evil is searching for something, and if it finds it, there's going to be catastrophic consequences for everybody, the patrons and the Sartan included. I feel that this book advances the main story of the series and focuses a lot on the patrons and the Sartan, something that I really wanted. It's well balanced, and it's a good read. Pray tell, what are side whiskers on a dwarf? Are all dwarven females bearded, or do they just have long hair flowing from behind their ears? I, I don't know. Again, if you're a fan of the series, read it. I believe it's worth slugging through the entire series to read. Four out of five.